your child, my what's your name? Pembrand, is she lame? Is she cool? Is she breaking every rule? Is she anybody's fool? Pembrand, 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 marching in her own parade. Pembrand, she's like one in a million. Pembrand, Pembrand, much too cool for seventh grade. Catch her if you can, Pembrand. Oh, is that that girl from gym class? No, that's me. Oh. Who is she and why does she have her own song? Did someone take my lunch? Pepperand, Pepperand, marching in her own parade. Pepperand, she's like one in a million. Pepperand, Pepperand, much too cool for seventh grade. No one's cooler than Pepperand. She's her own biggest fan, Pepperand. Ooh, up, up. Catch her if you can, Pepperand. students. It's time again for another fabulous production from Miss Dog's Drama Club. Oh, not another stupid play. We proudly present William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. Oh. Um, hi. That movie was so last year. Auditions are this Friday after school. Be there or don't. Don't worry, I won't. I love drama. The smell of the grease paint, the roar of the crowd. Excuse me, Miss Stark, your bracelet is ripping my hair out. I think either of you would make an enchanting Juliet. Thanks anyway, Miss Stark, but I am way too busy. What with blading and sleeping and... And if the role of Romeo wasn't already cast, well, you would have made a strapping... Ah... Uh, a unique kind of, uh... But I thought the auditions weren't until the end of the week. Yeah. Who's Romeo? Hey, Stark. Nice lead. That is an eighth grader. I love drama. Sucked. That was before I found out Craig Bean is going to be Romeo. You want to be in the play because of some guy? Uh, Craig Bean is not just some guy. If I get through all of Juliet, oh, just think where it could lead. Sherry Spleen here with a backstage look at Hazelnut's real-life Romeo and Juliet, Pepper and Pearson, and Craig Bean, an ice grater. So, Craig, give us the dish. She's fresh. Wicked fresh. The lark and loathed toad change eyes? Um, is this like in English? Oh, fortune, fortune, all oh, men call thee fickle. If thou art fickle, what dost thou with him? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Romeo! What satisfaction canst thou have tonight? I must hear from thee every day in the hour, for in a minute, there are many days. Guess who just made the R&J crew? So what do you get to do? Oh, I have no idea, but the crew gets bottomless juice box. The roles for Romeo and Juliet are cast. The part of Juliet goes to Sissy Rooney. Pulls the story together! But the nurse only has one scene with Cr with Romeo. Pepper and the role of the nurse is hugely important! But I did like that scene of playing the copula. Wonderful! I almost forgot to give you this! Your new role calls for a more full-bodied, zoftig physique. No way I'm going to make a fool of myself in front of the whole world and Craig just for some stupid play. Well done, Pepper Ann. If you can't play Juliet opposite Craig's Romeo, there's just no point in doing it. I know. Although the nurse is kind of an important character. Oh, please, Pepper Ann. Shakespeare couldn't create a meaningful character if his overrated life depended on it. Actually, if you think about it, Romeo and Juliet is quite a stupid play. Stupid play? Oh, 
Romeo and Juliet is one of the greatest stories ever, with the most memorable characters in history. In fact, the nurse's role is one of the most crucial. She is the window into Juliet's soul. Gee, Pepper Ann, if you feel that strongly about it, maybe you should be the nurse. Well, maybe I will. Yay. What am I supposed to do with this shrub? Holding it is inhibiting my juice intake. It's part of the orchard. Its purpose is to provide cover for Romeo during the balcony scene. Um, line, Pepper Ann? You kissed by the book, Romeo! Three words, dear Romeo, and gluck, good night, indeed. I just want to say it's been a joy working with you all, and I know tonight will be a huge triumph. Nobody move. I lost a contact. It is so no use. I won't be able to read the TV word thingy. Sweet mother of all that is good, the play is ruined. Shakespeare. Oh. You're right. The show must go on. But who will be our nurse? I know the Heimlich. I can't believe it. I'm going to play Juliet. I'm going to be the best Juliet they've ever. ever. Oh. <gasps> Romeo? Romeo? Wherefore art thou Ro ah! <laughs> Go now. Uh, juice box? Oh, why did we do this stupid play? It is not thy juice box, but thy name that is my enemy. Uh, I don't know what to do. Will the read us the teleprompter? Madam! Nurse? Oh, now be gone! More light and light it grows! I said be gone! For this is the burden I must bear alone. Oh, happy dagger! This is thy sheath. There rest and let me die. Oh! That was cool, oh. Peppy. <laughs> Ow? Like, watch where thou art going? Drama rules. You were magnificent! Genius! So good the school wants to do a second production this year! I may consider doing it, providing the part properly showcases my wicked fresh acting abilities. I wanna find love out in the sea. But who could love a little fish girl like me? Yay! Like, could that be any colder? Stupid play. Okay, next week marks a bold step in our study of capitalism. Starting Monday, each of you will get a chance to experience American economy firsthand with after-school jobs for a whole week! Uh. Okay, the assignments are... Sissy and Trinket, color me dressed. Tessa and Vanessa, music madness. Uh. Nikki and Dieter, the novel nook. Can you eat this nook? Pepper Ann and Milo. Brew Farm. Let me take you away from this place. Did I say Brew Farm? <laughs> I meant Food Barn. Barn? I mean, we, we were thinking more like a video store. Or comics. Or a tattoo parlor. Or... Stop. Look, the truth of the matter is, well, neither of you are quite strong in economics. 
It can be a cold world out there, Pepper Ann. Take a scarf. Not strong in economics? I'll show her. By the end of this week, I'll be a financial genius. They'll be begging me to do whatever economic type people do. Is it fish stick day? One week to prove Miss Sneed wrong. One week, one A in economics. One week can be a long time. Did you ever know that you're my hero? If you've read the manual, you shouldn't have any problems. Questions? Actually, I, w I was wondering... Good. I was... Tuesdays and Thursdays, wash my car. Cloth only, light wax. I won't let you down! Great mother of Hasselhoff, look at all this trudel! Hey! That's expired! I saw what you did! You got fired on your first day? Uh, no. But the hat? Well, they're only for tier one employees. Bob promoted me to assistant supervisor of stock. Because I, I think quick on my feet. Hey, where's your promotion? It's coming. I know it is. But go after it. Tell Bob you're the one who noticed the bad mail. Uh-uh. Bob's gonna notice my hard work on his own. Hey, quit talking to the pickles and get back to work. Lock up when you're done. Major responsibility. Pepper Ann, you should have been at the novel nook last night. Loco Yona was reading from her new children's book. It wasn't my fault, cried the little Asian bunny. John made up his own mind. Why don't I talk to Miss Sneed about switching you and Dieter? He's never at work anyway. No! I can do this, Nikki. You watch. I'll show everyone that I'm the best employee Food Barn has ever had. <gasps> Excuse me, miss, but I don't believe the price on this item. By selling in bulk, we avoid the high cost of individual cartons, and we're able to pass those savings directly onto you, the consumer. I don't believe the price on this item is marked. How much? Uh, price checks on aisle 218. You can take the subway. I call it mustard in motion. Cool. Too bad there's no skateboarding. Great work with the skateboard incident. Stop the madness, keep the customer. <laughs> uh, you, pickle girl, clean up this mess. So, Milo, you come to the company picnic? You can still quit, you know. Never! No applications under 18! Scram, Junior! Come back when you grow chest hair. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible. She actually died of embarrassment. Pearson, I found a spot on my car. They're moving me to the corporate offices. They have free slushies. Must last till five. Excuse me, miss, but I demand to know why this application was rejected. Hey, is it true that you let this boy consume free chocolate spread? Pearson, did you get to my car yet? Enough! What's wrong with you people? You're never gonna eat that many olives. No one needs a 35-pound bag of cheese ups. No one! I gave this place one week of my life. And what did I get in return? A pat on the back? A free slushy? 
No, I got nothing, but I stuck it out. Things got tougher, I worked harder. Not one person here can tell me that I didn't do the best job possible. No one's gonna tell me that I'm not strong in econ. Yeah, tell you can, you can tell. Tell. law of supply and demand proves that people will always search for the lowest price, but at what cost? And so the wheels of big business turn on. But this cog refuses to go willingly into the cold machine. Hey, where's your speech? Right here. <clears throat> Economics. It's not what you know. It's who you know. Thank you. I'll never get this econ thing. C negative. My grade matches my blood type. I'm so proud of you. Not only did you learn a valuable lesson on corporate America, but you've mastered economics along the way. But I got fired. Shh. Many a noble economist has lost her job, but kept her pride. Four, two, seven, pearl, one, carry the four. Knitting again, Sneed? You're fired! Pepper Ann, you were holding out on me. Had I known sooner that we were, oh, kindred spirits, I, oh, but never you mind. I'll show you everything I know. Together we will show the world that economics is a glorious quest, focusing on an exciting aspect known as Pepper Ann. The gross national product. <laughs>